Okay, so here is a short video of the attempted repair of my SyncMaster 204T. This monitor I actually found uh, in the dumpster with a sticker on it that said did not work, obviously, because it's actually it shows up much brighter in this camera than it does in real life. It's really washed, well, not washed out, but it's all faded, and I think I have the brightness turned up to the max here. And uh, I noticed that when I play with the brightness, when I actually bring it down, Sometimes the brightness will actually come back up, uh, so almost like it's doing the opposite of what it should be doing. I've seen that it starts flickering when the brightness is too low, and um, all sorts of weird issues with this. Um, so I did some hunting online, and uh, the most common problem is caps, just cheap caps that were used in the and the PCBs, and they start bulging and going bad and stuff like that. And so for the price of two caps, I think they're you know under a dollar. Uh, I think I got them at Mauser. I was placing an order, so I grabbed a couple for this guy too. And actually, you can see there, this uh, here is a manual that I found online for repairing this guy. And so we'll see if it works. Uh, it'd be nice because it is a pretty sweet monitor. It's like a 20-inch monitor or so. Uh, one thing I like about it too is that it rotates here. So um, if you're doing, um, um, I don't know, a lot of publishing work or if you're doing a, a lot of uh, reading a documentation or whatnot, which is probably what I'll end up using this guy for anyway. I have my 20 inch or 19 or 20 inch IBM monitor here and then the laptop. So um, it'd be nice to have a third monitor um, for documentation and stuff so that I don't have to you know, always have stuff lying around. It'd be right there. It was flickering again. So we'll see. Stay tuned and uh, let's crack this guy open and we'll take a look. Okay, so here's the chassis. This is the power supply section, control logic. These are the problematic caps. These two guys. You probably won't be able to tell because my focus does not work well with this camera for up close, but the tops of these two guys are bulging. Actually, all these guys are bulging, uh, which makes me wonder if by just replacing these two larger ones here, whether that's going to fix it or whether I'm going to go back and tear it open again and replace these guys. So, uh, Unfortunately, all the documentation that I read just talked about replacing those two guys, so um, when I put my order in for Mauser, I only bought the, these two caps, so we'll see. Um, hopefully I won't have to go back. I mean, it didn't, took me, what, 10 minutes to take the whole thing apart, but it's just the pain to have to go and do it all again twice. So we'll see. I will replace those guys. Got the iron fired up there, and uh, we'll see if that fixes it. Ta-da! Look at that. It looks gorgeous. Brightness is about halfway, and you can crank it all the way up. Looks great. Cost me under a buck to replace two caps. Gotta love it. I guess it's common for these uh, Sync Master 204s too. So, yeah, very cool. So now I got my three monitors set up here. So beautiful.